Today's adventure takes us to a remote cemetery south of Streeter, Illinois called Moon Point Cemetery. Now, the neat thing about the cemetery, and one of the reasons why I wanted to come and visit it, it's supposedly haunted. The story goes there's an axe-wielding mother ghost that comes through the cemetery and yells at people to get out, protecting her son's grave. There's stories of orbs, there's stories of balls of light that float around the cemetery. So hopefully something like that happens today and I can get some haunting activity. Kind of doubt that will though, but maybe it will. Stranger things have happened. Or have they? Maybe. All right, so come join me as we explore Moon Point Cemetery. Okay guys, beautiful spring day here in just south of Streeter, Illinois, Moon Point Cemetery. Beautiful cemetery. So it's called Moon Point because the land was first owned by a Jacob Moon and his family. He came here with his wife, Leah, from Dayton, Ohio in 1833 and settled here. And that's how Moon Point got its name. Have the Carnes Monument in front here, James, or Carrions, or C-A-I-R-N-S, James and, and Margaret. So there is some lore to the cemetery, which I will go over in just a little bit. So getting back to Jacob Moon, him and his wife Leah, they did have five children. And Thomas, although Thomas did live to be an adult, he was a young adult, and he is the first one buried here in uh, 1841. Baldwin's here. Thomas and Elizabeth Baldwin. Beautiful old stone. Can't make out anything on that. Very difficult to read. Another old one here. Unable to read that as well. And several in the ground. Well, there's this one here. Is that supposed to be an angel, maybe? And it looks like this was the base to it right there. And we have only half a tombstone here. With the other half that has fallen behind it. And you can see the traditional handshake. Another interesting thing about the 
Moon family is Margaret and her mother Leah died six days apart in January 1847. Margaret's husband James died in July of 1847. So three of the family members died within a short time of each other. Here we have the Armstrong Monument, 1864-1902. And immediately behind it, I do see a war monument, a war tombstone. George Armstrong, Company F, 55th Illinois Infantry. Very nice. There's a nice old one back here, tucked away in the fringes. Milo, it looks like. Halcombe. Can't determine the death date on that, and there's a couple smaller markers here. What a nice old cemetery. 1939 on this one. So I hear a train, and I know one of the lures around this cemetery is the train is the only, intersects the only road in and out of the cemetery. And there's something about, oh, if a train passes and you're in the cemetery, you can't get, you can never get out or something bizarre like that. Obviously, I don't believe that whatsoever. Another war monument. Halsey looks like the name. Flithrope. A lot of a lot of war monuments in this cemetery. See what it looks like Jesse here. Massey, it looks like, 129th Illinois Infantry. Okay, let's talk about the supernatural a little bit. The suspected hauntings of this cemetery. Here's another Civil War soldier. There's quite a few Civil War soldiers in this cemetery. And that goes along with the hauntings of the cemetery, or supposed hauntings of the cemetery. John Williams here, Illinois Infantry. So in addition to being able to see orbs and balls of light in this cemetery, there's also a hatchet lady. That's right. A ghost, a woman carrying a hatchet, comes after people and tells them to get out of the cemetery. Now, the lore is that this woman's son died in the Civil War. There's Sarah and Albert. And died at a young age. He was probably in his teens, maybe early 20s. And uh, she kept vigil over his grave while she was alive. And after death, she continued to keep vigil over his grave as the hatchet lady. We have baby of the son of Ed and Lily Evans. Another baby. Look at all these babies. 1911, 1912, 1913. Evans family had a lot of tragedy in their in their family. And so that is the lore. If you're in here, I guess especially at night, the hatchet lady will chase you out, yelling at you, telling you to get out. Now I did a little research and there are a good number of Civil War soldiers in here. But I did some research and there is a Civil War soldier named Reason Cipher, Cyphers, S-Y-P-H-E-R-S. Now, he didn't die in the Civil War, 
but he died, here's Evans' family again, he died in 1871 at the, at the age of 32. So he wasn't very old when he died. And oddly enough, his mother, Christina Cyphers, died in 1875, only four years later, and is buried within this cemetery. So could they be the people that this haunting, this, this folklore is about? Arthur Allen there. Can they be the ones, Christina be the one that is haunting the cemetery as a hatchet lady? I don't know. Allen is the name on that one. Hard to read. This is obviously a replacement stone, but very nice. Maybe this is, um, oh, this is Hetty, H-E-T-T-Y, Ann. This is her stone here. You can see the Hetty Ann. It's very nice that they did a replacement there. So it's interesting that perhaps we can tie some people to this, this haunting, this, this lore that is out there, Amos. Mater, Illinois Infantry, thank you for your service. Is it true or not? Doubt it, but it's a good story. I hear a second train. That's not good. I'm doubly not going to get out of here if the uh, folklore is true. I'm just exploring the fringes, the perimeter of the cemetery to see if there's anything of interest. As now I hear helicopters. Just a single helicopter, however. Going above the tree line. such a remote cemetery it's very uh, busy with trains and now helicopters appears to be on this side a whole bunch of uh, I don't know if that's a retaining wall looks like it's supposed to be a retaining wall an old retaining wall at that. Okay, I was just getting ready to leave. people talking back here. It's gone now. I don't know if there's maybe trails back there that people walk on, but we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. I don't hear it anymore. That was a little, little odd. I clearly heard talking. I guess it could have been a bird. I mean, you obviously hear birds back there, but I don't know. Strange. I don't hear it anymore. Okay guys, I hate to be the bearer of bad news and I'm gonna give you some bad news right now. I did not see the hatchet lady. Nobody came at me with an ax. Nobody yelled at me to get out of the cemetery. Didn't see any orbs. Didn't see any balls of colored lights. 
couldn't find the moon family. Now, and I was hoping to find uh, some of the moon family, unable to find them, unfortunately. Their tombstones much as sunken into the ground like these here. That could be one of the moon families for all we know. But thank you so much for coming along with me today and watching the video. And until next time, keep exploring.